Welcome to Watch That Invasive and today we're going to be talking about garlic mustard, Arealia petulata. This is a plant that came from Europe with the settlers in the 1800s. The first instance or sighting we have is in Long Island in 1868. People came over here, the early settlers, they were familiar. This was a culinary and a medicinal herb for them. Obviously they wanted to bring plants with them that they knew they could use when they got here. But for the past 150 years, these plants, which have no natural enemies in this country, no insects that will eat them, um, have spread throughout New York State, the Midwest, and up to Canada, and it is a real threat to our forests. So let's look at this. These are highly um, competitive. They shade out a lot of our native plants. So this is a first year, it's a biennial. This is a first year rosette. And even look at the roots on that, quite large. So the first year rosette will look like this. The next year, the plant will, the stem will elongate. The leaves are alternate. As you go up the stem, the bottom ones are kidney shaped. And then the further you get up, they become more triangular and toothed. And the, the buds appear. The flowers appear in April to May. And then they actually seed pods or salix form in um, June. And in August, they scatter all around. They can be dispersed by the wind. They can be dispersed by animals or anything else. Each one of these plants can produce about 600 seeds. And that's why they're so invasive. One of the things we can do to remove them is you can pull them by hand or make sure you get the root though. And if you look at some of these roots, they have an S-shaped root. This enables them to actually take hold on steep slopes or loose soil. So they can really grow anywhere. You see them by the side of the road. You see them in everybody's garden. I mean, they're everywhere. But now they're starting to get into our woodlands and that really is a serious problem. Our woodlands, especially the northeastern woodlands, uh, under attack by insects, by diseases, by um, invasive plants and the garlic mustard is just another one of those. The garlic mustard puts out allopathic chemicals into the soil and that stops seed germination from our native plants and it also stops or stunts the growth of native tree seedlings. It also affects the mycorrhizal fungi in the soil and that's very important to the trees. It brings nutrients to the trees and it also um, feeds them as well. So this really is, when it gets into the woodland, is very, very um, bad news. Uh, Northeastern forests are under attack by many things. It's almost cut by a thousand, or death by a thousand cuts. White-tailed deer are a huge problem. White-tailed deer, deer are herbivores. They eat just about any plant on the forest floor, except garlic mustard and other invasive species or poisonous species too. So once they've denuded the forest floor, you don't have the tree seedlings growing again. They can't take hold and they can't grow. Um, so when a tree dies, you have a hole in the canopy, you have sunlight coming through, but because um, of the herbivores or the deer grazing, you don't have tree seedlings coming up. So that's one thing. Then you have plants like uh, invasive garlic mustard putting out poisonous chemicals into the soil. So really our native plants really don't have a chance in the woods. So what can we do? Well, you see here, we have quite a stand of these at different stages. You really should try and remove them before they go to seed because it's much easier to dispose of them. But here, these ones have gone to seed. What I could do is I could pull them all up by hand or I could chop the tops off and take the seed heads off. This is the second year, so the plant will just naturally die in August. These are, the garlic mustard is prohibited in New York State. That means you can't buy or sell and you can't transport it. So when you pull up these plants, especially the one with the seed heads, put them in a black, heavy black plastic bag and leave them on blacktop for about three weeks and they'll liquefy and then you can get rid of them that way. The plants without seed heads, the early ones, if you pull them up, these ones, you can actually just pull them up and let them air dry and then you can burn them because they don't have seed heads. Whatever you do, don't pull them up and leave them in place because the seeds 
are still viable. It will, they will still ripen even if you just pull them up. So that's another problem. As you can see, there are various stages here and we really need to get rid of them because on your own property, it's one thing. You can take care of them, but it's the woodlands that we're really worried about. Everybody can be a, a um, invasive species um, person. They can, you can talk to your local town, your local parks, and if we all could help pulling them up, volunteering, ask your local parks if they need volunteers to work on pulling these up, we can all make a dif difference and we can all be a weed warrior. So thank you for listening and I'll see you next time on What's That Invasive.